Greetings, and welcome to Jetline Marvel. The indigenously developed Indian fighter jet is being outfitted for export. It recently participated in air shows in Sri Lanka, Dubai, and Singapore, where it displayed an amazing air performance. As it completes its Tejas Mark I version functioning model, it is now searching for an international customer. It is now being developed into aircraft with various sorts of armament systems. However, only a few nations provide HAL customization for the equipment supplier. As a result, the Malaysian Air Force has been urged to replace Israeli-made missiles with Indian or European-made missiles. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited is the manufacturer. According to a reliable source, Tejas will be delivered to Malaysia's FLIT LCA program without the Israeli-made. Elta Elm 2032 multi-mode radar or any other Israeli equipment, as most of the systems, would be replaced with French or Indian systems depending on customer requirements. Malaysia, a Muslim-majority country, does not recognize the existence of Israel. As Chinese JF-17 is kicked out of the race already. India's Tejas to offer Malaysia with France and Indian-made defense system will exclude the Israeli origin component, as per the Malaysian request. The Tejas, single-seat, aircraft has been offered to the Royal Malaysian Air Force, together with the Adamisa Fire Control Radar, Head-Up Display, HUD, Unit, and Damocles Targeting Pod, as well as the DRDO-developed Helmet Mounted Display and Sight, HMDS. The Royal Malaysian Air Force needs 18 planes to replace its inventory of BAE Systems Hawk 108 trainers and Hawk 208 light attack jets. Eight of these platforms will be utilized primarily for lead in fighter training, with the remaining 10 being light combat jets, according to the RMAF. RMAF has plans to procure 36 LCA flit platforms in two phases, with 18 aircraft set to be purchased from 2022 and the rest from 2025. In February 2021, at a ceremony in Bengaluru, HAL signed a $6.58 billion contract to deliver 73 new Tejas MK1A LCA jets and 10 new Tejas MK12 seat training jets to the IAF. Which aircraft do you believe Malaysia will chose for its air force, and why? Tell us what you think in the comments area.